Hello! Welcome back, Eternal Darkness. Uh, right now we are on Chapter 3, Act 1, Conspiracy of Suspicion. Anthony is... Let's just say it. He's, he's looked better. You know, he's not looking well. He seems to be immortal, though. He seems to be zombified or something, because when he dies, he just gets right back up at full health. Could not keep Anthony down. Beyond this door, we believe, is... Charlemagne. Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter to gain an audience with Charlemagne. We have said bishop's key. We found it during our escapades. We had to kill the bishop to get it, actually. He was not a good bishop. Oh, no. Is that Charlemagne? is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, oh, no. there is little to save you from the power of Stella. I can't uh, it seems like sometimes the sound kind of gets a little iffy. Chapter complete. Okay, back to Alex Ruiovas. Ruiovas? Oh, just right back to Alex Ruiovas. Okay, uh, we're in a new chapter. Uh, somewhere it shows us the chapter names, I believe. Maybe our codex, or what's it called? Cinema? Suspicions of Conspiracy. Okay, let me screenshot this so I know what to name these episodes and... Keep my bookkeeping right. Uh, chapter 3, Act 2, A Conspiracy Reveal. What cinema was that? I mean, I just played it. We can skip it. Okay. I'm just curious, does the see if the sound does better this time? Do a little better that time. Yeah, I don't know what the issue is there. There's maybe some settings on my emulator I could still change. We haven't really noticed it during dank gameplay. It just seems like those cutscenes sometimes the sound gets a little weird. Okay, so we're uh, Alex again. We've been around this room pretty good. It keeps taking us to cutscenes. Not cutscenes, it keeps taking us to, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. These, these past stories, I guess. I can't even remember what I looked at. I think I was looking at this. Uh, our text, faintly noticeable. Right. The desk had been the Sterner activity. I think that's about when it took us to the... The last scene. Okay, I think we're about done in this room. We examined everything. It's been so long because it takes us to scenes. Okay. Maybe this is the way the whole game is. She looks around and... Pass... Jesus, what? Surely that's not this door again. No. Oh, she might be going... How's her in seeing any? How's her... She didn't have magic yet. Wait, we don't have... Oh. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect this. So she's learning in them too. Is that because she's reading the history? Or experiencing the flashbacks or what have you? And then through that, she's learning the same spells, sort of. Gaining the same knowledge? Interesting. I didn't expect her to have those spells at all. She doesn't have her items, obviously. No, dresser key, second floor key. Can I? 
I can't. I can. Yeah. Same check bar. Okay, that's crazy. That's cool. So that's how you can advance to different places really in this time because she's gaining that knowledge, if you will, those spells. Interesting. Um, what was I? I can't remember what I was going to look at in the map, honestly. Uh, came here. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I should maybe look at the map more. I really don't look at the. Okay, yeah, that's that front room. So that's the room we were just in. That's that solar room. Okay, let's just... There's still areas of the castle we just haven't been to yet. Castle? Yeah, it's sort of a castle. And the graphics are so cool. Um, castle? I think it's a castle, isn't it? It's an estate. I don't know if it's a castle. It's an estate, maybe. Okay, yeah, we've been through all this. Yeah, there's like a second floor we haven't actually tried to get to yet. I don't think this door... Jeez, that's scary. Okay, this was this door. We still don't know what to do here. I don't think we have... I think this is too early. Walls are bleeding. That's what's going to see her insanity. Okay, she's got quite a bit of green, so that's good. She's a bit insane. Oh, interesting. This, uh, I happen to rewatch the opening scene of this cutscene. This clock's at 3.33. That was the first puzzle moving to 3.33. When she's woken up by the detective in bed about her grandfather getting killed, her digital alarm clock was at 3.33, which is just interesting, I guess, I thought, since they've used that number a few times. The number's also half of 666, which is a bit interesting in itself. I guess I could look at the map when I'm trying to figure out where these things... That takes us back into that room. Can we get in here? No, we haven't been in this room. Oh, this is a different room. I just... Interesting. Okay. We haven't been in here. A grand piano stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, I forgot to start a timer. Let me start one. Edward never really looked up to that description, and as such, the piano is full of disuse. I don't think we've been in this room. Have we? The illustration features a collection of strange lined designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. No, we haven't been here. There appears to be some significance to it, but it's particular but it isn't particularly evident. Purples in the oh, this, that's that uh, insanity area. That's that uh, where the trespassers transported us to. It had those three colored lights. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I assume that's what that's related to, perhaps. Okay. Okay. Just admire those. Not really. Not. Oh, that's cool. A little lens glare. Lens glare? Yeah, lens glare. J.J. Abrams. They had lens glares earlier, didn't they? Because I said the same thing. I think J.J. Abrams can't help it. He's known for using lens glares. I like J.J. Abrams. I like the Star Trek movie. I like the reboot of Star Trek. Like the second one, third one, I was not real happy with. Star Trek Beyond, was it? I just, I don't know, I expected more. But they haven't made one since then. Maybe a lot of other people did. I'm quite a truckie. Does anybody that watch my channels now? So that's where the sound comes from. And there my little Tommy Fool quick opening. I ripped that from a Star Trek scene. Kind of an iconic beep. Somebody actually commented and picked it out. They're like, is that from Star Trek? It's like, you're good. That is. That's the indescript bridge sound. Where's that door lead? See, we haven't been into these rooms yet. Could we even get into these rooms before? I don't know. Somebody wants out of somewhere and it keeps scaring me. Oh, 
That was like a kitchen. Another door. Okay, this goes back into the main room. I look okay. Of course we will examine that. Yeah, who did light that fire? That's a good question. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. Okay, a colored sigil is carved into the wood above the white slot. The slot is wide enough to insert a narrow blade. We have a narrow blade. We're facing south, I guess. It would be nice if it put Alex and her line of sight on the map. Uh, but I guess maybe they expect you to be smart enough to figure that out yourself, which is fine, too. I think maybe instead of just hitting it, you actually need to, yeah, use. Alex places the blade in the slot, but feels a push back, as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. The magic of the blade. See, so this is an example of, if this works, this is an example of we couldn't have done this before because even if we had the blade, we would have had to have the knowledge to cast the spell, which is, okay, I gotta quit doing that. Alex places the blade? No. Okay, well, that would have been an example of that, but we don't have any other blades, okay. Is there another way to... No, we don't have any other... Spells, new spells, power. Select alignment, that's the only alignment we have, okay. I wonder if it's like a different blade alignment we can enchant or something. That's different look, different symbol. Okay, I'm sure we'll find something later. Okay, maybe we'll hear a bit early. And this door takes us to right here. I don't believe there's anything over here. Is there? No, there's this. No, I got a map. Map. Oh, that takes us into the hall. Oh, okay, right, that takes us there. This is locked. Do we have a key? I mean, we've got keys. Dresser key? This one makes sense. Of course, this one makes sense. Okay, now we don't have the first floor key, I guess. And this takes us to... Okay, well, this is right over here. We've just been through all this. Okay, we have not been upstairs yet. Save the game just because we haven't. Won. I'm just gonna quick save instead of since the save system's kind of a pain. I say quick save, I mean, I'm gonna do a I just save state it, use the emulator save. I mean, it does the same thing just quicker. Uh, their faces for you are dark reading. I think we've read these, perhaps. I don't think we've tried the doors, but yeah, I think we've read the artwork. A oh, pretty lamp, not my style, but. Pretty in the game. That's neat the way it kind of, neat the way it kind of changes the camera like that. Had a pretty good, uh, the door is locked. It's got second floor door. Had pretty good camera design so far. For no gamer, you can't move it. It, uh, it comes apart in the lock to keep the second floor. It's broken. Perhaps there is a way to repair it. I think we know that way. Enchant item key. The item has been repaired. Sweet. We seem to have a bad item, a bad habit of breaking stuff we need, so it's good we got that spell. Okay, I used the key. It's not real clear you use it on that situation like that.
A serene painting of the luscious mountain valley, delicately rendered in oils. Rendered? I guess, kind of rendered. Uh, time has taken its toll on the surface, which is soiled with dirt and scratches. Okay. Cute horse. Hi, horsey. Hi, horsey. Examining in this picture. Yeah, okay. Let's go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi! What? I, you're missing the... Let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's not the painting. It's this dude. No? Nothing? You're not? No, that's fine. That must be the insanity. That's spooky as... Spookiness. Did you? I'd be... Alex, you're... Going a bit insane. That scared me more than you. Yeah, let's do our go to the right thing. Let me pick that up from Tomb Raider. When you have options, go right. Okay, I was trying to look at the people to see if we recognize them from anything. Ooh. I like matches. Oh, pick up. Alex has found... Oh my gosh, 35 or 38 revolver. I don't know much about guns, but... I know we don't have a gun to put those bullets in because we don't have any guns. Okay. Ship right. Okay. Okay. There's examining. Uh oh. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. Jesus, I'm going to read. And the place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Okay. I don't. I can't like enchant. No. I can only enchant items in my inventory. I can't like enchant stuff. Let's check the map for the okay second level. So that door goes out. Okay, we'll open that door in a second. Yeah, we'll look at this one. Okay. Oh, Alex questions the presence of the lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircled by an encroaching darkness? Wow, oh, Alex is really reading a lot of lot into the art. Can I do anything to this? Nope, she just looks up. Doesn't do any good to, I mean, I'll just have, attacking random things has not accomplished anything so far in this game. Doesn't mean it never will. How are we doing on time? We got, we just started this episode. No worries. Okay. Nice claw tub coming back in style. Building a house. I'm having one put in instead of like those little jacuzzi kind of things. I mean, I'm not building it. Oh my god! F you. Oh man. Alex. You poor thing. You poor thing. Hmm. Pick. Okay. I don't, I want to know what I'm picking up. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, Alex has found a page from the Journal of Maximus. Maximilian. Rovius. Um, okay, we should read that journal entry. That's probably going to take us to another person. That's fine, I'll just read it here on the toilet. This is a page from Maximilian Royale's journal. It reads, everything has brightened my life now. Uh, everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Okay. Some stuff has freaked him out. Can I do anything else with that? No, I thought that would. I can't do anything else with those things, can I? I can just check them. Yeah, I can't, like, add them to my... Wait, where's my... Where's... Max. Check. Uh, box 30 caliber. Where's my uh, Tomb of Eternal Darkness? But I don't have my Tomb of Eternal Darkness anymore. She picked one up too, didn't she? I guess not. I thought Alex had a Tomb of Eternal Darkness also. But I could be wrong. I probably am. 
Okay, I don't know what I'm... Can I... For nothing, can I not... No, on that nightstand, that knocking keeps scaring me. Man, that guy is freaky. Are there a lot of... Wait. No, those are the doors. Or that north door. That left north door. Yeah, that's this room. A little better. Well, not little. The chapter page has been hastily stashed behind the frame of the painting. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? Yes, does that actually mean it's a... The Gift of Forever. The oddly proportioned painting of a man in somewhat Napoleonic garb. Obviously an intentional exaggeration. It gives the painting an oddly quirky feel. Okay, let's check out this chapter page. Do they take us on? The gift of her. Does these take us on? I think they do. Okay. Dreams. Modern, Modern psychology, psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. I have implored you for years, yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Karim. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Karim. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. Mm, Kareem, I don't know, buddy. Seems like a siren. Oh, are these... the same? This is the same ones that got no, they got um, pious. Are we in the same area? Is this different? I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, this is kind of what happened to pious. Uh, this might be the same area. Okay, where are we? Uh, let's. Chapter 4, A Gift of Forever. Okay, yeah, we're going to actually end the episode here. This is going to be a short episode, about 15, 20 minutes. But that way, it just makes a little bit more sense to keep them all organized. Uh, and I'm probably going to stop playing for the day, so I don't want to like do part of this chapter. I'd rather really dig into it when we have time. Uh, man, I'm loving this game. I just think it's cool. It's a shame nobody else is watching it, but that's fine. That's fine. We're still liking it. Hell, even I get one or two viewers in the future to find this Let's Play, then that'll be worth it. 
yeah, I just think it's kind of a neat game. I guess I'm kind of getting the idea of how the story's going to be told. I imagine it's going to be jumping around quite a bit. Or maybe it'll switch styles eventually, but it seems like... Well, that house is only so big. Of course, I don't know how long the game is, so it's got to change formats at some point, but it's rather interesting so far. Keep switching it up. I should save the game. Good thinking. Thank you for... It is not safe to save right now. Continue without saving. Um, okay, well, I'm going to... Wait. F1. F2. There we go. I've got it saved in quick save slots. That's how I'll load it next episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me, and goodbye.